I turn this old shed I have behind me that doesn't look that much to the world from the outside into my dream at home endurance training studio. And today I will show you it and talk about why it's so important for me and how you can get the same kind of benefits that I will get out of my home gym even if you don't have any at home uh, training place yourself. And by the end of the video I will inaugurate the pain cave by showing you and doing my favorite treadmill running session. Before I go in and give you a tour of this space I want to share how and why I made this room makeover. About eight years ago I watched a documentary about the cyclist Bradley Wiggins and in the documentary he was training on his bike in a shed out in his garden during the winter time and ever since I saw that I had had this dream to one day have a house with a training shed I can go to during the dark and cold winter months to get some great training done and for those of you who don't know the winters here in Norway get quite cold and for a couple of months we don't see the sun uh, that much. Although I still love training outside in those harsh conditions. It's super nice to be able to mix it up once in a while by going into a nice space and especially when there's lots of snow and ice on the road it can be hard to get the quality running sessions done outside. And having a place like this just a couple of footsteps outside of my house really removes a lot of friction to go and get some great uh, training sessions in. Because getting your physical activity in each day isn't uh, easy. Even though you know it's good for you and you will feel good afterwards, it takes a lot of effort. The more friction you can remove from doing the things you know are good for you, the easier it uh, is to make it into a daily habit. So I really recommend you to find the things that make it harder for you to get your training in and find ways to remove those. For example, maybe always having your uh, running clothes and shoes ready by the door will make it a lot easier to go out for a run since you don't have to start with searching the house or apartment for your running gear. So that's why I really think that our at home uh, training studio here will make it a lot easier for both me and my wife to continue doing the kind of training that does us so much good. Also, after becoming parents, to be able to work out and still be at home is a huge benefit. That's why we bought an indoor bike and a treadmill that we have had in our living room uh, this winter. And it worked out great for a while. But those machines take up uh, quite much space and make a lot of noise when used. So getting the kids to sleep when I was running all out on the treadmill wasn't uh, working uh, so good. So I got this idea that we actually have this old shed that's connected to our garage that was just used for storage. But to be honest, I was a bit skeptical when I first had the idea to turn this into my dream pain cave because this space looked like absolute crap with old stuff and dirt that was probably 40 years old from the last uh, owner. So right now this space is just super messy and filled up with all the uh, sort of stuff that we used when we were renovating inside of uh, the house. So step one would be to clean all of these things out and cleaning is uh, of course not that fun so I will make this one uh, quick for you. So now this whole space has been uh, clean and I have washed all the walls but you can barely notice it because it's still so dirty here and it's time to start painting. And this is the first uh, white paint and you can see the difference. I think this was white uh, about uh, 50 years ago or something like that. Once I got started moving out all the stuff it was super nice to start seeing the potential of this small little space. And after a lot of cleaning and painting the space started uh, looking uh, pretty good if I can say so myself. So enough talking about why I made this space. I'm super psyched to show you it so just uh, follow along. So directly as you enter this uh, little training shed or pain cave or training studio or endurance training center or whatever I will call it. If you want to help me naming this space feel free to leave a comment uh, down below about that. But as soon as you enter you have this uh, shoe rack here where I have uh, my cycling shoes and uh, running shoes that I use on the treadmill. So I can just... Uh, 
direct and grab a pair of shoes and then we also have a pair of uh, sweat uh, towels that can come in handy when you start to sweat on these uh, endurance training machines. So that's nice to have that directly as you enter. And then as you head further into the room, you can see we have this wall with uh, these uh, nice uh, prints and also a, a mirror. So the mirror is nice for making the space feel a bit bigger and a bit more spacious because this is for sure not a, a big uh, training uh, room. And then we have these uh, prints on the wall that I think adds a lot to the space and it might not seem like such an important thing to decorate your walls in a training uh, studio. But to me and my wife, it was really important to spend some time on this using nice pictures that motivates us. Because if having a nice look here and bringing back some nice memories from these pictures can help us get more motivated to do a better job by training and even just get out there and do the training, it really makes a difference. So over here, this uh, print here is from when I was running my 100 km ultra marathon mountain race. So that just brings back so much cool memories from that adventure and just makes me happy to see it and it motivates me to do some good training throughout the winter to be able to experience more cool adventures like that. And then uh, over here we have uh, just a nice uh, mountain view from one of uh, the runs Elin and I went on uh, last uh, summer and then there we have Elin and this is actually from our honeymoon where we spent a couple of weeks just road tripping for Norway and uh, running on cool places so that's a really nice memory for both of us that uh, helps us remember why we try to stay physical active and why we do the training in this uh, space through the winter hopefully. And over here we have the first training machine which is just a basic uh, spinning bike. Nothing fancy at all but it uh, it works uh, good. And then we have actually turned this bike into sort of a smart bike uh, through just putting these uh, pedals on that can measure uh, your power output. So that makes the training a lot more fun because then I can just use this computer that's just my old laptop that has been reused in this training space. So I just put it here and then I can uh, pedal on and uh, compete and train on uh, Swift which is like this virtual uh, training game that it makes uh, indoor cycling so much more fun and I've been using it a bit uh, for this winter and it has really brought up my motivation to get the indoor uh, training done because it makes it so much more fun when you can yeah, ride with others and compete and especially if you're competitive like me it's so cool to, to compete against others in that virtual world and really cycle against the real uh, people out there. And then we also use this uh, computer on the second main training machine in this uh, home training gym. And uh, this is our treadmill that uh, we bought last winter that has been working out really good. And this is also no sort of smart treadmill, but we added this little sensor down here at the belt of the treadmill. So this can uh, show the speed uh, on the computer. So you can actually use Swift on the treadmill as well to run in that virtual environment. And once again, that makes uh, running on treadmill a lot more fun uh, than just staring into this uh, white wall uh, would be. So that's uh, super nice. And uh, having a treadmill at home to use in your training has really brought up my motivation to do some good interval sessions uh, for the winter. And as I said, I will inaugurate this uh, uh, at-home training uh, studio with uh, doing my favorite uh, interval treadmill running session and show you it in a while. I'll just finish this tour and then we'll get to it. And I'm super psyched to run fast in this space for <laughs> the first time. So the next feature, or I don't even know if you can call it a feature, but the next important area of this uh, training room is just the floor where we have put this uh, soft uh, training mat uh, throughout the floor so we can get some good different types of exercises in. And as you can see, we don't have really any equipment here besides these uh, endurance training uh, machines. And that's because uh, I like to do almost all of my strength training with just using my body weight to do some different uh, stability work and so on. 
And if you don't know, I have actually a Patreon page where you can support this channel and also get some different benefits. And there I have up uploaded uh, some uh, instructional videos and programs with my favorite at home uh, strength training exercises. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. There's a link uh, down below. So the last thing I want to show you in this space is just this uh, shelf here that besides featuring some speakers that is also another uh, motivational aspect to this uh, training studio to pump some loud music here will for sure help us getting through some good uh, training sessions. And then just some fake plants to to bring a bit more of uh, greenery <laughs> inside uh, here. And then we have this uh, little prints that I think also adds a lot of motivation that I really like and if you don't know these are actually heat maps from uh, Strava so all of those red lines and as uh, the, the more bright they get uh, the more I have ran in these places so this is from uh, Moss where we live and uh, this is from uh, Bergen where uh, we used to live so it's nice to just look back and see all the cool places uh, we have been running on and uh, yeah it's uh, also a motivational factor to not do all training sessions inside of here when you start looking at this you get inspired to run on new cool places because both El and I what we love to do the most is running outside so we don't want to just be in this <laughs> shed on all the uh, training sessions but that was all for this little tour of uh, this space so now let's jump on the treadmill and actually do some training inside of here. Finally I have uh, got to start up this treadmill after all the work I have put into this space I've been looking forward to this moment to actually start the run and yeah it feels super nice to be running inside of here and this training session I will do I will start with a, a regular warm-up and my regular warm-up to basically all my running sessions is just 10 to 15 minutes of easy running and then I just slowly increase the speed during these 10 to 15 minutes to get my body warmed up and ready for the intervals and by the end of the warm-up I try to almost run at the speed I will be running during my intervals so I'm fully ready to start pushing hard when the first interval starts. So the warm-up is uh, done and we'll just take a short rest before I start the first interval. And the training session I will do today is, uh, as I said, my favorite interval training session that I do on the treadmill. And this session is inspired from uh, a guy called Marius Bakken that for a really long time was the best long distance runner here in Norway. And uh, he has actually inspired the training that the Ingebrigtsen brothers and Jakob Ingebrigtsen uh, does. So this treadmill session is um, 45 seconds on, pretty hard uh, effort or I will do it at my like 5k uh, the competition pace. So to do that for 45 seconds isn't that hard but when you start adding it up you will get a lot of time in a really good uh, pace. So I will do that for uh, 45 seconds and then have jump off the treadmill, have a 15 second rest. And these intervals I often do 20 to 30 repetitions of uh, depending on uh, how hard I want the session to be. So today I will do it uh, for 20 repetitions because I'm pretty tired because I didn't sleep that much last night. As it is when having twin babies inside but I still want to get some good work uh, done here. So 20 repetitions today. So let's just start cranking up the speed and get the first one done. First intro done, now I will focus up on uh, doing this training. But as always, thanks for watching, train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.